Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my last video on my hostel management system project. In the previous video, I just created this all employee working part of my hostel management system project. If you have not seen my previous video, just go to the description and check out the link. In this video, I'm going to create a new JFM for lived employee. So let us start. Let me close this application. And let me create a new JFM for that. Lived employee. Okay, let me click on finish. You can see form has been creating. Okay. Now, now first we increase the size is to okay, it's loading uh, to 700 and uh, 500. Okay. After that, we will remove mean, max, and close button from this form. So let me remove it. We just need to click here. And after that, we also set the location of the form. So here I'm just writing the X axis as 480 and the Y axis, we are setting it to 150. Okay. Just okay. Just close this. After that here, we just need to, to insert a button. So let me place it. And we are setting here a PNG image for that. Close all form PNG image. After that, let me read this text. Let me remove this and let me place it here. Okay. After that here we just need a table to display all the employees. So let me place it here and let me increase the size of this. Okay. After that we just need to set a background image. So for that we are just uh, changing the layout to absolute layout. After that here we are inserting a label. And let me go to the properties and let me select the image pages background jpg image. Okay. And let me perfectly place on this. Let me double click on this and let me delete this label name from here. After that, uh, we also need to connect this page with our home page. So let uh, me move to the home page and let me click on this lived employee. After that, uh, we just need to copy these two lines of the code in this button. Let me paste it here. After that, let me change the name of this uh, buttons. Okay, after that, uh, we just need to new leave to employee dot set visible. We are making it as a true. Okay, and again, we are moving here and we just need to write the codes for the back end. Okay, first, we are going to write the codes for this close button. So, let me write here set visible false. One more thing, we just need to write the content, uh, change the content of this table. So let me move to the content and let me first move to the raw and let me delete all the rows from this table. Okay. After that, let me move to the column section and let me increase to eight, five, six, seven, eight. After that, one by one, we are going to rename it. Okay. Name. The first one is name. And after name, the next one is mobile number. After mobile number, the next one is our father name and after father name, the next one is our mother name of employee email. After email, the next one is uh, sorry, uh, email. After email, the next one is address. After address, the next one is for the Aadhaar, Aadhaar number. And after Aadhaar, the last one is our designation. You can say post. Okay. And let me just uh, close this. You can see content has been changed in our table. So let me go to the coding section and let me write here the course. First, we need to import. So let me write here import asterisk. After that, we just need to import import project package with the connection provider class and in this section we just need to write the code first we need to write default uh, table table model last one after that uh, we are making model here just writing and in the brackets we're also writing default table model okay this one after that, we just need to write table name j table one dot uh, git model. Okay, and uh, let me little bit down it. Okay. After that, we just need to write a try catch block. 
catch in this exception e okay in try section we first we need connection con equals to connection provider class okay we already have connection provider class dot get con okay after that we just need to create a statement the statement st equals to con dot uh, create statement okay after that result set result set rs equals to st st dot execute query in this we just need to write the query so let me write here select star from employee where status is equals to in single quotes double quotes we just need to write here not working okay we don't need to write uh, in double quotes because uh, this is not a very vari uh, variable so just delete it and working okay after that we just need to display so i'm just using while rs dot uh, next okay and in this we just need to write model model dot add raw this one and new object object this one and after that in the brackets we just need to write rs dot get a string get a string this one and second okay and let me copy this one by one first we need to display the name that's why i'm just writing two and you can see the name you can see here and let me copy this one by one let me minimize this okay and uh, let me copy this two after that we just need to display one three sorry after that uh, we just need to four five six okay and uh, after that six the next is seven and eight okay so if any error occur we also need to display that uh, so let me write here g option pan dot show message null okay so you can see our front end and back end part of this uh, project is also get completed so let me run this again okay and we don't have any student who are Lived, uh, sorry, employees lived. So let me change it uh, to the lived. Okay, let me go for search this employee. Let me change to not working. Let me update this successfully updated. And uh, let me click on lived employee. You can see the god of Kumar. You can see the mobile number. You can see all the details of the lived employee. And let me check out that employee is in the working or not. You can see the uh, details get removed from this. Uh, all empl uh, employees working. Okay. So this is all about my hostel management system project. I hope you guys like this video. So please hit like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.